well, this is one game I didn't see myself revisiting <laughs> after like years. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and welcome to Mo Girl Cafe 2. Now, don't let this title mislead you. There are male characters in this game too. This is a restaurant gacha game, um, if I remember correctly. Um, you can summon some po pretty popular anime characters, if you can remember their names. Um, I'm pretty sure the first character that I had got was Belouche from uh, Code Geass. So, yeah, there are pretty similar characters there. You can dress them up and change them a little bit. Um, as for registration-wise and this, log in with Facebook and or Google Play. Log in with either of these two. This is, this sucks. I can't even remember I can't even remember my old, old account because it's an account number. <laughs> yeah, you need an account number to log in. And plus, this really does suck on emulator because um, once you click this, type in something, there's no confirm. The little tab window that's supposed to come up with, with like the keys and stuff does not pop up for emulators. So if you find an emulator that does that, when you start typing in, then you get the confirm. So other than that, you can't click off or click begin. You can either click that or nothing. So yeah. If you're going to change any text or anything like your name or anything, rename yourself from whatever name you have before you play on emulator, I recommend downloading it. I recommend downloading it on your phone, changing the name and everything before you start playing it on emulator, just to get it out of the way. Because typing in this game is going to be annoying if you're using Knox for sure. Unless there is like a separate keyboard thing that pops up that you guys can recommend that will actually give me the confirm. But without further ado, I already changed my name and stuff. I'm going to be logging in now. I'll see you guys on the actual screen. Here we go. All right. So logged in. Look at that handsome face. I mean, what? Anywho, um, <laughs> let's see if I can remember this game. So basically this is your small restaurant. It gets bigger and bigger as you play the game and you know pretty much level up your characters. Uh, why is there no tutorial? That's that's odd. Normally they would have a tutorial. I'm pretty sure they had one. I guess not. I guess I can remember most of the things I've done before. At least try. So there aren't always uh, special characters you can summon. There are some randomly generated ones as well. You can also give them gifts to increase their, like, levels and stuff? I guess their affection? I need to remember. But I guess we'll remember as we go, huh? Alright, this is lucky. Well, the spin wheel you get to do as soon as you come into the game. So you have your waiters here, or employees. Hmm. You can pretty much change their clothes and... Huh. Someone to play. Oh, this is our assistant. We hired others. There we go. Been looking for this. Oh, oh. Free summon. Let's see what we get. I have no idea who this is. I'm pretty sure it's a um, random character. All right, so now we have that character. We go into employees. Oh, apparently, there's another summon in here. Hold on. Oh, free summon. I'm not gonna try to pronounce these names. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you guys that now. Jesus. Uh, how do I deploy him? I I forgot about that. Jeez, I wish they would have had the tutorial. I got no emails. Oh yeah, also. Before you guys play it on emulator, make sure to take it off high. Because if it's on high, it's going to crash each time you click on your assistant and try to do any of this. Make sure to uh, stop that. So, here's how I deploy the unit. I just remembered. So, once I get a unit, I can look at how good they are at cooking or something. Uh, most of the time... You want the waiters to have 
this high high service and the cookery people at the stove and attraction are people who I'm pretty sure is outside attracting customers in is what I want to say the entertainer that's what it is uh, we're gonna make him a chef we're gonna make you a waiter we're gonna make you an entertainer we'll put you in a break room there we go see that's how you set everything up so now this character is outside attracting customers bringing them in so it pretty much goes like that okay we're getting somewhere i'm remembering some things it's taking me a while to remember wait what are these honestly my missions oh i'm supposed to do oh okay i'm supposed to be doing good to summit Okay, so there are quests here. Uh, that's done. Go back to here. Like all this. Level two. Now I'm supposed to be making an omelet. So to make omelet, you just pick this and this. The more you create a food, the higher its level goes. And its max level is five, I believe. You're supposed to upgrade it. And all these foods do take time to make. You can speed it up with actual cash currency but yeah some of the foods are decently long to be honest i would employ drink i uh, don't think that would be reason for that set a set an employee to host this mode how do i did i do it no i did not Standby. Alright, I'm just right there. Our waiter is going to come over here, grab the food, and put it there. Oh, I can watch a YouTube video for free. <laughs> uh, we're going to do that, actually. I'll be right back. It was literally a five second video. <laughs> you could cancel it at any time. So, the. The customers do come in and tell you if there's like any seats or anything. They do have their own like likes and dislikes. Um, but the way to mostly effectively do this is make a whole bunch of multiple dishes because customers come in for certain like foods and everything. And you'll see it above their heads when they sit down. I oh, had yeah, the combo thing. I forget about that. I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. I have not played this game in like so long. And without a just straight up tutorial, I'm just going off of knowledge I used to know. Apparently there is a shop. Oh yeah. Huh? Why? So apparently there's ads in here. I don't know why, but okay. <laughs> uh, you can buy different stoves. I'm not sure if Oh, okay, never mind. I was about to say, I'm not sure if they actually increase anything, but they do give you these items if you put them in there. You can fully customize your whole restaurant. Like, everything's customizable. The walls, the floors, and like I said, as you level up, you do get more room. So, I'm gonna do this now. No energy to cook? Jeez. Oh, that cup. Jesus. So apparently making soccer rolls costs 40 of my stamina of this character? Jeez. I mean, one of our missions is to drink, so I'm going to do that now. How long does this take to make? Oh god, it takes 12 minutes. Uh, oh yeah, adding in extra stoves means more employees can cook also. So that's exactly what I'm going to do because that is long as hell. Come here. Do I have anything in here? Okay. Let's go all the way down here and start, you know, cheap. So I do have like several different alternative colors too. Uh, you can also buy themes also. So 
because I remember there being like, oh, yeah, yeah, here are the names. I think we can view it. Let's go ahead and view it and see. Yeah, you can view the themes and see how they look. You can also follow other people. So you can go back to the restaurant at any time. And plus you can help people uh, with their food too. Uh, let's do that, actually. Uh, this is this assistant. It's pretty much like a um, AI bot. So I can also put my face on your employees and help them out with their affection. I can also help you out with your food a little bit. And once I'm doing this too, if your employee is cooking, I'm taking down the timer a little bit on the food. So yeah. <laughs> God, I'm gonna have to just explain so many things. Ugh. So much trouble. But I got this. No worries. Um, who is good at cooking? By... Oh, well. Hmm. My quality? I, I don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna choose you as another chef. Let's just say that. Actually... Hold on, aren't you on new character? Yeah, you are. But you're better as a waiter. You're better at attracting people. Actually, if that's the case. Oh, never mind. We're gonna put you on standby. Put you as. That's right. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, I'm all over the place. <laughs> Clean this. What else? What else? Alright, now we gotta buy a small potted plant, which we need to figure out where it is. Store, where is it? Here. Oh, one of these? Uh, I'll take this one. It takes up less room. Well, actually, it probably take up the same amount of room, right? Hold on. Return. Oh, God. <laughs> nice game for taking me completely out. Okay, no, it just takes up the same amount of room. Perfect. Wait, where are you? Did I not have anybody else at the... You are the chef. Where are you? Are you upstairs? This is the break room for all your employees go to relax and everything. You have to build this up too, just so they can get their stamina and stuff back faster. Uh, where the hell is she? There she is. Oh, okay. Well then, that made total sense. So while he's cooking that long ass meal, we're gonna be cooking this. Perfect. Mutual friends. So your assistance pretty much is quick access to all the other like things the game has to offer. Advertising, market order. Market order is at 15. Oh my omelet's done. Oh yeah, make sure not to block it. Okay, thanks. I can make sandwiches now. But what I was saying is, make sure not to block any of the characters in. Now my character's kind of stuck, I believe. And you can't move them or anything. So what I'm going to do is, well, what I thought I was going to do is move it okay let's move it right here let's go ahead and get some more of those little tables just to put extra foods on
So now I have two of these. And they can walk through here in and out. Okay, sweet. Uh, where are the sandwiches? Oh yeah, I have to research them, don't I? And... It costs these ingredients to do that. I forgot how you get these ingredients. But, basically, just do all of these, all the tasks on the yellow one. Then it will slowly work you into the game. Which I wasn't thinking about. Wait, what color are these tables? Okay. Okay, now I'll buy a wooden chair. Perfect. I did it, game. Now I have more low summon tickets. And I've unlocked more stuff. Oh yeah, I can make sodas now. Give a gift to an employee. Oh yeah, employees have a certain like and dislike of presents. So the better the item they like, the more affection goes up. I'm pretty sure affection increases stats, I think. Doop, doop. Well, this is something I can't do because you guys remember the whole text thing. So I have to go on to my phone and do this because the text is not gonna go through, which is Unfortunate, so I gotta go back. All right, and this stays up. Okay, cool. Totally didn't want that up there. I hope you know, game. I think that's literally gonna stay up there the whole time. Okay, it went off. So I can't do that one, so I'm kind of stuck where I am. Well, I can't do this. Oh, well, no, actually, I'm not stuck because it's not in task. That's just like a little minor thing you can do. All right, what clothes should we get for you? Yeah, characters have to have a certain amount of affection to wear different clothes. And there's are a lot of clothes you can put on your characters. I was say, no, we're not gonna go too insane on those prices, you know? Let's go ahead and buy this. Bartender. Oh, okay, I remember this. And that also increases affection. I mean, the characters also stop liking it as well. I'm pretty sure they get upset with it. <laughs> Starts to get awkward. Let's let's just not do that. <laughs> I am now level six. Jesus, I am going up really fast. Now I gotta go buy my classic stove. Another one since I already bought one. Wait, what? I thought I bought it and can't place more stoves. Huh? What, what do you mean? I can place plenty of stoves. I can place one right there, right there. Wait, what? Oh yeah, the, other people's characters do come to your shop as well. But anyway, like I was saying, once you, like, uh, your character goes off into somebody else's, like, restaurant, it, this is just, like, totally random. You don't have a choice of, like, changing it or anything. Um, what's the character, like, goes into your place he also brings like his let's say best worker or a leader worker i i don't know it, let's just say he brings a worker around with him jeez there's so much there's other things i can go over too that's the sad part and it's so stupid that i can't put another stove game all right fine 
Let's just do this. Store that. I just buy this one. There we go. All of them must face the right way. Darn it. Wait, I, I'm not sure if that's face the right way. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. Go back. Everyone can still move in different spots. Um, he is out of energy, so we're gonna put him up in the break room. There we go. And now we gotta choose a different character to take over his shift. And that's going to be you. You're going to be the chef today. And cook some omelets. Yes, yes, more omelets. Pretty sure the higher the dish too, the more you make also. At least I think so. But the whole star thing means the better the omelet is and the more like XP and character happiness that you're gonna get. Oh yeah, what else do I have to buy? I'll just make three meals. I am doing that right now. Now I can make roll springs. <laughs> I need to make like one more okay yeah just need to make one more and we're completely done thankfully oh I was about to say did I get it and this is popularity so I'm pretty sure your popularity goes up depending on the furniture you get into your place too oh yeah and plus your characters sort of ask for like different items to wear too. No, you don't get that. Okay, I should be done. Okay, there we go. Okay, one friendship point. Wait, I already did that. I can do it here. At least I think so. No, oh, no, never mind. Gotta go to somebody else's random house. How did I do that? Let's go back. To, let's go to a higher level's place. See how their place is looking. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this is pretty much the stuff you can do. Like I said, it's fully customizable. This person has all five stars. <laughs> oh look, and there's the girl from uh, Black Rock Shooter. Her her little little initials. <laughs> fucking initials are in her fucking anime. <laughs> okay. Alright, anywho. Doesn't look like I can affection anyone. What the hell, man? Hold on. I guess if I follow this person, let's go follow somebody different. Follow. Now, I'll give affections. There we go. I did it again. And now I can expand. You can't buy your way to the top, too. But, you know, that's kind of like... Mm, still locked. So I gotta level up more. Need 
to change my wallpaper. I'm going to change it to... Is there any greens? No greens? Why you no green? I'm sad now. Oh yeah, you can upgrade stuff like that. Now, my omelets are level 2. I can make a lot more, and I get extra XP off of it. So once they get to... pretty sure... Yeah, once they get to the max, like, XP they can have, then you go down here, go to research, then upgrade them. You can also research these. But these items, I'm pretty sure it's down here? I think it's these that you finish little missions for. So, this is level 15. This is like a delivery. So, pretty much what you do is you cook the items that the delivery asks for. I think there's three different lines of choices that you can go for. Then, once you complete it, just send the order and you come back with rewards. <laughs> I can't believe I remember most of this. What is wrong with me? I guess it's because I played it for like a long time back then. But I don't play it anymore. Eh, one dollar? That's that's not a half bad price for anyone trying to start out in the game. Like I wanted to get one summon in, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Can I just do the full wall? I think I did. I don't know. Anyhow, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> oh yeah, advertising and it's basically sending your characters out to go, you know, advertise your restaurant, get them over here and stuff like that. But this way, you get XP gold and popularity and probably some other stuff so this special character can visit your shop now and as this character visits your shop your job is to cook them their favorite food every time they come by then you have a chance of recruiting them which is really nice like an ai character just coming by your your restaurant every time and you just you're pretty much earning affection with them and they eventually join you. Which is actually pretty nice. So that's another way to earn different characters. God, I've never been like good at <laughs> explaining things on the spot, guys. I'm I really do apologize for this video. I I like I said, I just have not been good at explaining things right on the spot. To be honest, I thought there was gonna be a tutorial to help me get back into it, but we're kind of just going at it here. And plus, if I replay a game that I've played before, I'm automatically probably going to just full on talk about it. All right, send him to the break room and buy one of these cabinets. Okay. Oh, that actually looks nice there. Borrow an employee from a friend. So I can go to a friend and borrow one of their employees and they do stuff for us. Borrow. Oh yeah. They do have a choice of denying you that too. You can ask to borrow an employee, but they can say no if they feel like it. Uh, that's another anime character. That's another one. Don't judge me. I like her. Alright. Go back to here. Do this stuff. Advertise for me. Go get him. Then what we do... Oh. Whoops. Then what we do here is go make another friend. And follow them. 
and get more affection. And now we're done with that. Okay, well, actually, no, we're not. We're actually gonna speed this up because I'm going to end off the video real soon. <laughs> But you guys basically get the gist of it. It definitely is a fun and creative game that I really enjoyed. So now I can use that character for 24 hours. So what she's gonna do... Where is she? There she is. So nearly all, most of her stuff is really good, so... Now I can do this. Now do I set her? That's the question. I can't put her right there. She was just gonna literally just wait. Okay, well then. Well, guys, that's all I'm going to be showing you guys. If you guys find a game interesting yourselves and you like these sort of like casual calm games like this, then I definitely recommend it. Um, I played it for <laughs> quite a long time back then and got my shop nearly as big as the square, nearly. I think it was around like from here down here. That was it. Oh, Rue comes out, comes here and um, sells you things too. So if you want to buy some gifts and stuff from her, then you do that. Oh yeah, that's also fragments so you can make a character. I, I forgot about that. But yeah, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna do, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Maybe I'll get back into this game a little bit. I don't think I'm going to make videos or stream it, but yeah. <laughs> to then. Peace out. Where it's going to get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're going to make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Got to lose. Cause what you got to lose?